Swole Benji here. This is a video to teach new players how to not fall victim to dying, losing all of their hard earned gear, or falling into money pits, scams, and other tricks. The first thing you should look out for as soon as you leave Tutorial Island is potato farming guilds. As soon as you enter the very first zone, there will be lots of people trying to invite you to their guild, saying how if you join their guild you will greatly benefit. That is wrong. Go watch my other video and learn that you should make your own guild so that you can get lots of silver early on. By joining another person, person's guild, they will heavily tax everything that you loot, which means less silver for you, and everything you're doing will only benefit the guild leader. These are known as potato farming guilds. Why would you join someone else's guild and level up their guild so that they get all the siphon energy? It makes no sense. It's why you shouldn't j even join a guild if you're a newbie. As soon as you go to town and need repairs for the first time, there should only be one repair bench you use, and that is the public 0% fee repair bench. Every city has one, and for some reason, players that own land in towns like to sometimes put up their own little fake repair benches and jack up the price to 999%. Don't fall victim to these. Your 30,000 repair could be 600,000 at one of these, so just don't do it. Also, while you're in town, you should uh, go in your options menu and turn off um, duel requests because some people can request to duel you for silver, and if you're just clicking the middle of your screen and you get that pop-up that, that says you want to duel someone for a million silver and you accidentally click OK, well, you just lost a million silver. Also, some people will try to say, hey, I'm giving away free gold if you duel me and they will challenge you to a duel for like a million silver while they're naked. Well, it's before the duel starts, they're just gonna put on all their super good gear and kill you and then you're out a million silver. Also, you should never ever risk your entire net worth when going out and doing things. I see people do this all the time. They either go into a red zone or a black zone not knowing that they can die and lose everything. So don't go into an Avalonian road, don't go to the red zone, don't go to the black zone if you have a very expensive set on. Just don't do it. Also, don't type slash suicide in the chat. Just don't do it. That immediately kills you. There's no pop-up, there's no warning. You die and you drop everything. People fall for this all the time. Now, if you're in a yellow zone doing dungeons like I told you to do in my other video, you might have someone invade your dungeon and then down you. When you're down, you have to wait three minutes to get back up. Don't click die. When you click die, you die. And when you die in this game, you drop everything. So if you don't want to lose all of your loot, you're going to have to wait three minutes and then run away with a bubble. All right. Uh, also, when you're in the yellow zones, don't go AFK. If you go AFK, players can use abilities while PvP flagged to move you and knock you around, and they can just knock you into a red zone that's nearby and then kill you and then take all of your, all of your loot. So don't do it. Another thing that I see people discussing is uh, faction flagging, which while yes, faction flagging can make you more money, but this is the number one best money-making PvP method in the game is to just go to near a town while you're faction flagged and kill other faction flagged players. So you should never do this if you're a newbie. Yeah, if you don't get scouted or, you know, tracked down or hunted, then great, but that never happens. Everyone you run by is a suspect. I, I even do it for my friends. When I see someone faction flag, I get on Discord and I tell my friends, hey, this guy's got like 8 million worth of loot and he's doing a dungeon in this zone. I'm going to sit outside his portal, so just come with me. And then when his dungeon is over, we just kill him and we take all of his shit. It's a very good way to make money and it's a very good way for newbies like you to lose all of your stuff so just don't faction flag until you can afford it all right some money pits you don't want to fall into a money pit a money pit is when you invest a lot of time or money into something and you get nothing out of it I fell for this a long time ago when I decided I wanted to craft a whole bunch of shit and I was like I don't care if I lose money as long as my crafting level hits level 100 well guess what you should never craft things that never sell and you should never craft things that cost way more to craft than what you're making out of them that's a waste of time and money for everybody yeah sure in the future there might be a patch or something that might make you money or might not why would you waste your time doing that? You're just putting yourself further in debt. When you start building houses and putting money into laborers for the first time, you really shouldn't go all in and bankrupt yourself because if the market crashes or there's a patch that changes things, then your houses and your laborers become worthless and it takes a while to sell those off. So don't do that until you can afford to do it a few times over. Another money pit is putting thousands of buy orders and then trying to flip those buy orders into sell orders. You're going to be constantly under cut in both your buy orders and your sell orders and you're going to pay a lot of fees to the auction house so unless you have a very large bankroll you should never do this i know a lot of youtubers are like oh just go flip on the auction house it'll make you millions an hour bro don't do it because you're going to be spending more on fees than you're making initially until you can afford it and understand the market better i don't even do this anymore because it's too volatile one thing that ocd players always get messed up with is crafting a perfect set they have to have the whole you know tier whatever masterpiece with the little golden borders around it 
don't fall for this trap, okay? I personally fell for this trap. I spent 4 million on a tier 6.3 lumberjack set, and guess what? The 0.3 doesn't do anything for gathering. It just gives you more health, and it makes you a bigger target for people in the red zones if they see it. Like, I wouldn't take the, I wouldn't take a 4 million set out in the red zone. It's stupid. But if someone saw me out there, they would call like 30 people to hunt my ass down because I'm worth too much damn fucking money. So don't fall into this trap and buy a perfect god tier set until you're super wealthy and you're never going to take it out and lose it. Alright, another money pit is dead markets. Let's say that you want to be the best demolition hammer crafter in the game or you want to buy out all the demolition hammers and sell them for more money than they were listed for, which you can totally do. That's called market manipulation and it's totally fine. However, why don't you just go look at demolition hammers sales rates like just go to any town and type in demolition hammer and then look and see how many are being sold per day per month none of them are like sometimes you'll go a whole month without selling a single fucking one so don't invest in a dead market another way i see a lot of players lose a ton of money is respecting their fame credits if you level something to 100 and suddenly it gets nerfed and everyone's like oh fuck daggers and you unspec you that costs like 9 million and if you unspect out of every single dagger to put it in like axes or something then that's nine times seven that's a lot of silver that you are suddenly missing and you, you might upset you so don't, don't respect until you know you can afford it and you're sure you want to one common scam is renting islands there'll be people that are like hey i'm renting my island i'm renting my farm plots pay me money so what they do is you pay them money and they give you access to their private island and then you spend a whole lot of money building up that house and filling it full of the furniture and the laborers you need and then they just take away your access and pretend they don't know who you are i've seen this all the time don't fall for it never rent from people just buy your own another way to lose money quickly is buying very expensive gear without shopping around i personally like to buy tier 8.3 sets so that i can use for dungeon farming and leveling right but i don't just go to bridge watch and buy every piece i need no i write down the gear i need i travel naked from town to town using the fast travel it's completely free and i check the price on each town's market and then i write them down and then i go to each town and buy those pieces from the cheapest town and i will save like three to four million per set right Right. And uh, the cost to fast travel with your 8.3 that you recently bought is like 3,000 silver. So would you rather pay 3,000 silver to travel from one town to another and save like 500,000 silver? Or do you want to pay like 500,000 silver extra f to not deal with the hassle? Honestly, it's like two minutes of walking around. So do yourself a favor and shop around before you make a purchase. Black market flipping. If you ask other YouTubers, this is the best way to make money. But let me tell you that it's very freaking risky, okay? Uh, because if you make a large purchase that you're going to flip and you run to that black market with that purchase and someone's already flipped it, well, now you're stuck with an expensive item you can't sell. Or if you misread the name, which happened to me, like a dagger and dagger pair. I looked up the daggers that were selling on the, that were being bought on the black market. So I wouldn't typed up dagger real quick. And then I bought the item and I ran back. And it turns out that just because I typed dagger into the search box, it also showed me dagger pairs. Oops. Now I'm out 700,000. My bad, right? Uh, so don't, don't do it unless, uh, just don't do it. There's another reason you shouldn't do it. And that's called, uh, API manipulation. And API is, uh, a program that lets, uh, people analyze markets and then make a decision for them. Like on, Hey, if you buy this, you can flip it for this value, right? Well, any public API you use, like uh, Albion Online 2D, there's always private versions that people use that are faster, better, and more reliable. So you're always going to be behind if you rely on an API. Unless you're part of the Secret Cool Kids Club, don't try to use an API for profit unless you really know what you're doing because you're going to be behind the bell curve every time. All right. Another way to lose money is just not doing math on your flips. If you don't write down and have a ledger for all of your flips that you're doing, you could be losing money through auction house fees or through market crashes. So write down everything that you do, everything that you spend and everything that you profit to see if you're actually profiting or not, because sometimes, you know, your other options might sell and it might skew your results. All right. This is a big one I see for premium players is not using their focus. A lot of people just let their focus hit 30,000, which is the cap, which is in three days, and they don't spend it. You should never let your focus hit 30,000 if you can help it, because that is this money being lost. If you're not using focus for focus refining or f watering plants or something, you're just throwing away free money. So once you get premium, make sure to use that focus. Trade scams. If someone has a really good deal through a trade window and make sure uh, that they don't put up a similar looking item or a lesser quality item instead. Um, 
Uh, so if you see someone in chat saying they'll buy items from like an, one town, if you transport it to another, that they'll pay you, that's always a scam because they're just trying to get you to buy their auctions from that town. They're not actually going to pay you to transport it, okay? Uh, every single time you see this game, you can just teleport to the town and check their market, and they have the item that they're requesting in that market. It's it's silly. There's way too many mammoth transporters running around making sure pe markets aren't being completely depleted, so never ever believe this scam. Satchels of Insight, that's the bag that gives you a whole bunch of fame uh, at the cost of silver. It's a huge scam. It's, a, it's literally a scam item in the game, okay? It's a massive, massive money pit only meant for the richest of players, and you should not be using it as a newbie, okay? Uh, I was burning millions of silver per hour doing this in group solo dungeon or group dungeons as a solo player, right? The fame gain is amazing, but uh, it, like it saves you about 10 hours if you were to solo group dungeons with one over just doing solo dungeons normally from 1 to 100 spec. But it costs you 20 million in silver, okay? 20 million silver isn't worth 10 hours to me, hell no. So only use satchels if you're extremely super wealthy and you don't have a lot of time to level. Also on that note, doing group dungeons as a solo, you can't really kill all the bosses unless you're extremely powerful and even then you still can't kill all the bosses in a group dungeon by yourself. So you don't get any loot for doing it, it's just purely for fame and it's not worth it because you're not getting any treasure. Finally, when you have a fortune amassed, don't just let it sit idle. Unless you're okay with never pushing into like really large amounts of silver, like take your money once you have a ton of it, invest it in houses, invest it into farm plots, try new builds, try flipping, try to go out, you know, in PvP with better gear sets, and actually play the game. You earned it. You have a big large bankroll. Don't just let it set, you know, if you have like a billion silver and you're never doing anything with it and you don't own any islands, what the hell are you doing, man? Alright, appreciate you watching the video guys don't forget to subscribe you can ring the bell if you want i i've never rung the bell on any youtube channel so i don't fuck it dude like ring it if you want i don't really care uh if you would like to help me out in real life you can always uh find the donation link in the description and you can get your name and message at the end of the next video uh also check out my other videos and join the discord there's a lot of cool stuff in the discord I would like to get a bunch of people together in the Discord so we can do some really epic gamer trolling stuff. That's all I got. As always, be a bro and stay swole.